Hello everyone, how you all doing? In this video, we are going to talk about the iOS 17 Beta 4. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, finally we have the iOS 17 Beta 4 today. I am so excited and I'm even more excited because Mark, thank you so much each and every one of you guys. I wanted to reach this goal before my birthday, which is on 31st of July. So thank you so much for subscribing. And now let's get back to the video and stop wasting our time. I just wanted to thank every single one of you guys for your constant support. It means a lot to me. 10K may not be a big number for you, but it is a really really big milestone for me so ios 17 beta 4 it is finally here as your boy always does i am one of the first person to talk about it on youtube i have installed it on my device and here are my first impressions the number one thing that i immediately noticed is how smooth it is i don't remember a beta being this smooth right off the gate i installed it and it has never happened to me how smooth it feels the ios 17 beta 4 already feels really really smooth and responsive i can immediately notice the difference between the beta 3 and the beta 4 the performance is something that is definitely worked upon on the beta 4. First of all, starting off with the size of this update. This update was really big on my device. It depends first of all on device to device, what device you are using, the size depends on that. And also from what version you're coming from. I was coming from the iOS 17 beta 2. So my device got a update of 2.9 gigabyte. The thing that everyone was frustrated about, yes, I'm talking about the storage bug. iOS 17 was using a lot of storage. Seems like it's getting better and better with every single beta. With the beta 4, I have received about 4 GB from my device. I have got 4 GB back on my device. The system data and the iOS consumption is getting less as the updates go on. The iOS 17 beta 4 will use less storage on your device, which means you will get more local storage back on your your device so if you are low on storage this update is for you even before looking for any new features or changes the number one thing that i already said but i want to mention it again is the performance because it is mind-boggling responsive i have no clue maybe it is just with my device or what but because ios 17 is just being really unpredictable and some users are having great experience with it some are not having good experience with it some are having average experience this time it is really weird ios 17 experience has been weirdly different for pretty much a lot of people it is not linear for everyone that's why i always recommend you guys to take a backup of your device every single time you go on a beta but on my device after installing the beta 4 i will also install it on my other devices and let you guys know on my follow-up that is it a case with just my iphone 12 or it is a case with every single device but with my iphone i have noticed that it has become really responsive after installing the beta 4 so responsive that i can immediately notice the difference talking about the thermal issues there were some overheating issues on ios 17 beta 3 as well those issues this is something which is a bit too early for me right now to report so i will keep that for my follow-up but till now the time i'm recording this video i am not experiencing a lot of heating some heating is just because the background processes are going on and i have to wait for those processes to get finished and then i can use my device properly and then i can tell you is my device getting warm in daily usage because some of you guys are having some heating issues on your device on the beta 3 then talking about new features the standby yes the standby received some new changes in the beta 3 you were able to customize the options of clock and you were able to add colors on it and now there are more options in it you can customize the standby with more colors now you can just choose any color and the preset also has some new colors of different shades then talking about the wallpaper bug yes this is also one of the most frustrating bugs of ios 17 is the wallpaper bug fixed on this update 
Well, it is not fixed yet. This is really weird. I am still having the wallpaper bug on my device. So if you are wondering that the wallpaper bug is fixed on this update, the answer is no, it is not fixed yet. Yes, it is occurring much less compared to earlier, but it is for sure not fixed. Then talking about the battery life of iOS 17 beta 4. The iOS 17 beta 4 battery life. This is something which is really early right now to judge and talk about. But till now, it feels pretty much the same as the beta 3. But as I said, take it with a grain of salt because right now I have barely used my device and the result can be worse or better than the beta 3. So please wait for my follow up video in a day or two. I will post my follow up video and I will let you guys know my proper experience and day to day experience with the iOS 17 beta 4 and my verdict on should you install it on your device or not. Then talking about another new feature that is 3D touch. Yes, you may think that this is not a new feature. This feature came the actual 3D touch feature which acts like 3D 3D touch it is much faster now this feature came on the beta 3 but on the beta 4 it feels even more responsive and better right now it just feels like 3D touch yes on the beta 3 it was really quick and responsive as well but on the beta 4 I do notice that it is even better than the beta 3 so 3D touch now on iOS 17 beta 4 feels even more natural and better than the beta 3 I love 3D Touch. I have already loved 3D Touch feature on the Beta 3. It felt so real. And I did remember my iPhone 6S days when I used to use 3D Touch a lot. But now on the Beta 4, it feels even better and refined. Let me know down in comments below. Do you guys still miss 3D Touch? And is 3D Touch a big deal? Because a lot of people do not use 3D Touch nowadays. There is a reason Apple has removed it from their devices because Apple did not saw a lot of people using it. But personally, I used it a lot on my devices. And now seeing it come back and Apple is actually putting in some effort in this menu and just refining this 3D Touch menu more and more with these updates makes me really happy because i always loved 3d touch and now on the ios 17 beta 4 this feature is even better now talking about the final bug fix that is airplay yes connecting your home pod on a home pod os 17 with the ios 17 installed on your device will sometimes just not connect and you have to restart your iphone in order to get it connected to your home pod that is fixed in this update so if you were having some issues on your home pod connecting your iphone using airplay on your home pod now you won't have any issues with the beta 4 of ios 17. well that's pretty much it for this video thank you so much for watching this video till the end my name is jay you are watching tech hyped thank you so much for 10k subscribers i am really close to 10k by the time i'm recording this video but i have a gut feeling that by the time i will post this video i will have 10k subscribers so please hit that subscribe button if you haven't already thank you so much for watching this video this is me J aka Tech Hybrid and I am signing off. Peace and take care everyone.